Establishment of a new traffic separation scheme and associated routing measures in Sunda Strait and Lombok Strait. Indonesia is the largest archipelagic state situated in the most strategic location for international navigation, connecting the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. Demonstrating its strong commitment as a member of the International Maritime Organization, Indonesia continuously maintains the safe passages for international navigation through its waters. Among those passages, Sunda Strait and Lombok Strait contribute significantly to the smooth and efficient international shipping, in particular to those who utilized ships that due to their size and draft could not navigate the shallow and narrow straits of Malacca and Singapore. During the past year, more than 53,000 ships navigate the Sunda Strait and another 36,000 ships navigate the Lombok Strait. This traffic tends to grow from year to year, either in number or in the size of the vessel. Besides the high number of the through navigation, huge number of cross-traffic, coastal shipping and fishing vessels also contribute to the complexity of the traffic in these straits. Both straits are also characterized with rich marine biodiversity, marine protected areas and even the potential hazards to the navigating vessels. In order to ensure the sustainability of safe passage for both international and domestic shipping, as well as the protection of maritime environment in those straits, in their sixth meeting, the NCSR subcommittee approved the Indonesian proposal to establish the new traffic separation schemes and associated routing measures in Sunda and Lombok Straits. The concept was formalized through a number of surveys, studies and risk assessments and further corrected, improved and exercised by experts attending the expert group during the 6th NCSR meeting. Following up on the 6th NCSR approval, Indonesia has carried out various activities to improve the preparedness for the implementation of TSS and associated routing measure in Sunda and Lombok Straits. Such activities comprise of, but are not limited to, national and international workshops. These workshops are attended by national stakeholders and international members of marine societies. Reinforcement of VTSs in the vicinity of Sunda and Lombok Straits. The reinforcement includes the training of VTS operators, improvement of VTS infrastructure and system to provide better service for all vessel navigating the TSS areas and beyond, improvement of SOPs. Issuance of Minister of Transportation decree on the use and activation of AISB on the non-convention vessels, development of guideline for vessel navigating the TSS, survey to reaffirm the longitude and latitude position of the aids to navigation and the nautical charts and electronic nautical chart of the TSS as well, training of coastal seafarers and domestic shipping, which was attended by 9,900 NCVS's seafarers, examination and certification of the non-convention vessels where to date 40,096 certificates have been granted, Socialization to all relevant stakeholders, including shipping companies, fishermen and coastal communities, regional governments and related government agencies. Sunda and Lombok Straits are part of the Indonesia Archipelagic Sea Lanes, and it is assured that the implementation of the TSS would not affect the rights of international navigation through the Indonesia Archipelagic Sea Lanes. of the new 36.24 nautical miles TSS in Sunda Strait and the 37.79 nautical miles TSS in Lombok Strait, as well as their routing measures, will lead to the provision of safest and well-organized route for international navigation, thus to suppress potential marine accidents, well-monitored and more organized domestic crossing traffic, well-monitored and better organized direction of traffic flow of domestic shipping and crossing traffic by complying with the Rule 10 of Colregs, mandatory use of precautionary area for the crossing traffic and mandatory use of AISB on coastal shipping. Better organization of small vessel and coastal navigation. Indonesia is very committed in making internal improvements of the determination of the traffic separation scheme or TSS in the Sunda and Lombok Strait. We also express our gratitude for IMO's support for the establishment 
of the TSS at Sunda and Lombok Strait. Let's take care of our marine resources to stay safe for our next generation. This development strengthens the role of Indonesia as the world's maritime fulcrum. Thus, will benefit the international maritime interest.